understand if you want to keep your team proactive and successful, you can't just hire a bunch of people, throw them to the wall and see who sticks. You have to hire people who share a culture. That means that talking to each other, why are we doing this? Why do we take care of our clients? What kind of experience do we want to provide? When you know who you are and why you're doing real estate, it is much easier to understand that when the phone rings, you've got an opportunity to provide an amazing experience. You're not just looking for a paycheck. You go beyond the transaction and think about the fact that you're handling that consumer's largest financial instrument and your game is changed forever. I would say the web is not going away. So the website is still the core of someone's marketing efforts. One of the things that I think people have done in the past is they've invested in them, but they've let them be. We're now at the age where you need to update your website every two to three years because the consumer's changing, their questions are changing, and our world is changing. I know people have often said the words, actions speak louder than words. We say an awful lot about ourselves. I mean, the way we carry ourselves, the way we shake someone's hand, the way that we put our shoulders back when we, in, when we enter a room. So if I had to make a judgment on that, I would say that nonverbal communication weighs a little bit heavier than actually the verbal communication that we share with another. Every realtor should have some of their money invested in mailbox money, whether it be uh, single family, multifamily, even commercial real estate properties. You're not going to get that kind of information from a conventional financial planner. Now on top of that, you need a good tax professional, either a CPA or an enrolled agent, who understands the business of owning investment properties. Thank you.